I'm Hugh Lashbrook from WooThemes and I represent the local WordPress community here in Cape Town. This is our first Do Action WordPress charity hackathon. The idea of the event is that we have nine charities and then we have almost 50 volunteers from the community who will be um, building websites for each of those charities today. We'll start the websites this morning and finish them this afternoon. It's very exciting. Um, because as a local community, it's our first time we're actually reaching out to the broader community around Cape Town. The name for the event came from a core function inside WordPress and it felt just very appropriate for what we're doing here today. And we're just very excited to see what everyone produces. Now we move on to the important stuff for the day is what we will be doing, where we'll be going. Target for the day is to accomplish what the charity needs. Uh, what their goals are, that's, that's the criteria that will be used to judge the science. We're here today to have the wonderful guys from WordPress help us redesign our website. St. Luke's Hospice is re-going corporate branding at this, this stage, so the website redesign will be step one of a new strategy. We are here representing our company just to get a website, which we're hoping to achieve that it will help us to get more funds and generate uh, more support from the people in the world out there. We're working on the Greater Good SA team here at the Bandwidth Barn with this whole Do Action WordPress charity malarkey. It's been pretty awesome so far. Um, absolutely dig Sophie Hobbs from The Greater Good. She's sitting with us, helping us design a new website for them, mainly to highlight their causes, as well as related news to these causes and offer people the opportunity to donate to these causes. We're here today to sponsor a couple of our themes when we Themes approached us and told us that they were going to be making websites for charity. We thought it was a very super cool idea, so we jumped straight on the bandwagon gave all our themes available to anyone here who's making a site and we're just here to assist and help anyone who needs some um, technical or design advice while they build their, their sites. An absolutely amazing time at Do Action here at the Bandwidth Barn and the, the amazing amount of support that everybody has mustered around at giving to these charities, developing nine websites in one day. The response has been great, the teams have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, we're a hashtag Team Awesome and I've got Jaws the Fish here which is like a really cool little mascot and he's going around making sure that everybody is actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. I and a team of two developers and a designer are going to be building St. Luke's a new website in one day. Uh, it's an amazing challenge which I'm really grateful to have because for me personally St. Luke's um, made a major contribution to my life by looking after my dad. So it's also a lot of fun. Um, it's quite quite pressured because it's a lot of work to do in one day, but it's, it's just a great opportunity. It's amazing just to see so many professionals take time out of their day to, on a weekend to, to work with all of these awesome nonprofits and charities. And uh, yeah, I've walked around a little bit and the work that they're doing is really incredible to think that a project like this that normally would take, you know, weeks or months uh, is coming together in a day. Pretty, pretty rad event actually, there's about 50 of us here. Uh, we set out to build a, a website for charities uh, or NGOs I guess in uh, one day. A lot of fun, um, meet a lot of cool people actually. 
Uh, right now we're busy enjoying some delicious pizza, uh, a sneaky beer or two. Uh, it's been a really cool day and uh, it's, it's been so successful that uh, we're actually going to be hosting it again very soon. So if you're watching this and you didn't make it to the first one, uh, we hope to see you at the next uh, Do Action Charity Hackathon.